Well, my display fridge has been emptied by ravenous rascals, leaving me only with eggs. And my egg minder has just sent the devastating news to my smartphone vis-a-vis -vis their freshness. I simply must act. Like any 21st century citizen, my first instinct is to log on to the net and nip this crisis in the bud. But with supermarkets taking up to 24 hours to deliver and my bracelet calorie counter suggesting that I'm moments from complete metabolic collapse, I simply lack the time. My hand is forced I must brave a real-life supermarket, but at least I can simplify my essential list-making process with the hiku. I merely yak into this unit or use it to read barcodes and the list will be sent forthwith to my smartphone. Milk, kale, muscle cream, radish, ox hoof. With my list complete, I need to review my personal security before leaving for the supermarket. To protect my financial instruments, the iWallet, a carbon shell and fingerprint activated lock, will ensure their safety. Larger belongings will be protected by the iSafe backpack. In the event of a bag snap situation, I can unleash 125 decibels of ear slap. One of the first slaps that shopping delivers to your chops is the naked stress of finding a car parking space. Your scooters and your bikes are no use to me. They lack storage. So what is the solution? This proud little fella, the box bike, box as in Jamie Fox, an electric powered storage box. To help me shop, I'm meeting a produce guru whose views I am unable to endorse. Jimmy Doherty wants people to take time over their shopping and know more about what they are buying. I want to get in and out as fast as possible using technology to minimise thinking, carrying or interacting. Jimmy Doherty. Richard, how are you doing? Good I'm, to see you. I'm, I'm great. Good, good. I look like a supermarket manager already, <laughs> but you are going to help me. Yeah, well, it's quite easy shopping. You go in, you can squeeze the fruit, you sniff a banana, look at the spuds. You can't sniff a banana with any dignity. It's horrendous. Let's go in. <laughs> first things first. What? Trolley time. Trolley time? That's not a time. <laughs> what are you talking about? Trolley time. Have you got any preference? That's well retro. What are you, from the 80s? <laughs> yeah. I don't use a trolley. Look at this. That's what I use. What, what is that? That's a budgie, my a, friend. A budgie. <laughs> It's You're a basket there. that moves with you. Right. It's like a person, but reliable. Budgie is an American personal assistant robot. It will automatically follow a handheld sensor and can carry over 20 kilograms. Come on, come by, come by, come by. How do you fancy a few peaches? I don't really like fruit, but really? if you have to, sure. Give what are you doing? You're all in them, sniffing them Give like a, a hog. Give it... What's going <laughs> like on? A hog. You're rooting about. Give it a good sniff. You tell, it, tell it it's ripe. Give oh, it a squeeze. I'm not sniffing that. You've been all over it. I don't know where you've been, quite frankly. I'm going to use this. The DA meter. That's right. The Taroni DA meter uses reflected light to measure the chlorophyll content of fruit, thus giving an accurate assessment of its ripeness. It'll beat my nose, will it? It will beat your nose. OK, try that one, okay. then. One and under will say it's right. One and over, not ripe. It's saying 0.56. It's ripe. That should be perfectly ripe. It should be ripe. It was ripe. Spot on. What have you just done? Eat That's peach. illegal. Shh. I can't condone this. You've just stolen <laughs> a peach. So... I want to have some of this delicious-looking spaghetti bolognese. Right. Three for six. Yeah, that's a bargain, isn't it? But how do I know that it is as good as it looks? Right, so you want to know about the provenance and you want to know that the recycling, packaging and doing all the right kind of thing. Those are the exact things that right. I need to inform okay. ourselves about. Well, you, first off, you look at the packet here and the first thing you see, you see a Union Jack and beef, which would... It's in... already taking too long. What? <laughs> Well, there is, there is a lot of information. It it's too much to take in. OK, what are you going to do? OK, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a Lambent shopping cart handle. This handle is an experiment in nudge psychology, aiming to influence buyers' choices. The more unhealthy or further the food has travelled, the more lights come on. There are three things that light up. 
If it was very far, it would light up all the way to there. Three means roughly Scotland. How long did that take? That took seconds. It was quick. All right. And how long was all that? that long. Well, it was interesting. I'm not going to dispute <laughs> how fascinating you are, but I'm just saying, in a time management situation, you're out. To pay, I just place my hand on the bio reader, which scans the vein to my palm, as individual as a fingerprint and harder to copy. These are already in cash machines in Japan and are on their way here. I leave you with the feet strike. What's that? I'll tell you what it is. It's your ticket home. So, so I live in Suffolk. That's all right. The Feats is a Dutch design that offers more carrying capacity than some small cars. Perfect for a shop-happy fellow like Jimmy. Just pedal, is it? Just pedal, although there is assist. Assist, which is what? It means it'll help you. And I can keep the pound, which is uh, pretty good. As Jimmy Doherty departs, drunk with delight, I am duty-bound to inform you that other shopping transportation systems are available.